Well, there is growing pressure on Postmaster General Lewis DeJoy to step down, not just because of the way that he's managed the post office, but also over concerns of conflicts of interest related to his vast financial holdings. According to his disclosures, his stake in logistics company, XPO, which does business with the post office, was worth between 25 and $50 million, and it's unclear how much he has divested. DeJoy has also held shares of UPS and of Amazon. In fact, he sold Amazon stock and purchased call options instead just days before he took the job. And DeJoy is also a top GOP donor. Since 2016, he has given $1.3 million directly to the RNC and $1.2 million to the Trump Victory Fund. You know, in a statement, Joy told us, I take my ethical obligations seriously, and I have done what is necessary to ensure that I am and will remain in compliance with those obligations. But guys, I am pretty sure that Democrats are going to have a lot more questions for him once those hearings begin. Back over to you. Well, Elon, ostensibly, I mean, he had that information in his financial disclosures and would not have been able to take the job if the, uh, if the ethics review didn't clear. So do you think that any of these calls for him to step down will actually land? Well, a couple of points there, Kayla. You know, our understanding is that the Office of Government Ethics has received its disclosures, but it is, appears that they have not certified them yet. So there could still be more information coming there. The other thing is that USPS tells us is that uh, DeJoy is not required to divest any assets to take the job, but that if any conflicts of interest arise, he may have to take steps to deal with that. So what we hear from government watchdogs is that, you know, even though he didn't have to sell anything to take the job in order to do his job, it seems pretty clear that he would have to get rid of some of these stakes. These are the issues that are going to be discussed in a more full-throated fashion during those hearings over the next few days.